Well, well, welcome back Unkindled. Today we're doing a slightly different video. We're going to be painting this awesome armoured tusk from Dark Souls 1. But because it's quite an easy one, I thought we could spice it up a bit. Last week on the Instagram page, I asked you guys to send in some questions so I can do an Ask Me Anything video. So through this video of the armoured tusk I have here, I'm going to be answering some of the questions you've sent in. So let's see how this goes. And engage in jolly cooperation. I'll still be talking through my painting process as I go, but I won't focus heavily on it as loads of the techniques on this model are pretty standard and not too taxing. So this is mainly just armor. I'm gonna line up a bunch of my metallic paints here. So as is standard, I'm just dry brushing on a layer of lead belcher as our base. Now let's get into some of these questions. Number one, what inspired you to make models? That's a great question. Um, it's something I've always had a passion about but I never sort of wanted to let myself fully get into it. I always had a bit of like insecurity about like how like it's perceived, if that makes sense. Um, and then during the pandemic, I went freelance and I spent some money on the Dark Souls board game. And the miniatures that came with it were so cool that I, I went to Games Workshop and I stocked up on 10 or 12 paints and I just started going through the main collection of miniatures that were in there. And once I'd completed that, I slowly started buying the expansions that came with it and oh, it really spiraled out of control. And yeah, my bank wasn't too happy with the outcome. And then from that, I had a friend who owned a 3D printer and he was showing me the sort of stuff he was printing and I always found it otherworldly, like some sort of voodoo magic. And there was the thing, it was Amazon Prime Day. I decided I was just going to buy a small one just to sort of see how it goes and I got one half price and it really kind of spiralled out of control from there. Number two, what's your real name? Well, it's John, John Dark Soul. Every soul has its dark. But no, not really, it's, it's just John. Three, is this your full-time job? No, it's not. I am a animator and editor and I've been doing that for the past eight years. The painting miniatures is just a hobby and sort of like a side thing that I do. I've been in film and TV and media for the past eight years and done a variety of different things, like some cool things I'm pretty pleased to have been part of. You know, I've gone to, I've worked at the Oscars, I've worked at different film festivals across the world, like in India and America and across Europe. I was also on the VFX team for Cats, which is something. It's it's there. It exists. I wouldn't recommend it. I don't I don't think I can speak too much about it due to all the NDAs I had to sign, but I was on the VFX team for for that film. Yeah. Back to the model. Right here, I'm just dry brushing on some iron breaker around the higher parts for a more glimmery, brighter metallic look for the edges. Question four. Do you like black coffee? Ah oh, man, I just, I can't go without it. To be honest, I've gone through many different coffee machines and I would say black coffee is my drug of choice. What's your favorite color? Oh, I don't know. Um, it changes all the time. I don't think I have one, but I'd probably say green. I don't know. Yeah, green. These, these questions are quite pleasant so far. What's the next one gonna be? Ah. Hmm. Great. Who has a bigger dick? Yorm or Fire Giant? <sighs> I mean, it's, it's, it's gotta be Fire Giant, isn't it? Like, the size of him. He's a giant. Yorm's a little giant. I'm, yeah. Fire Giant. Is that, is that right? Moving on, I'm just going to use some Runefang steel and a small layer brush to edge highlight on some brighter metallics to the armor edges. More questions. Number seven, who's your favorite NPC from each Souls game? Good question. Um, let me think. So Dark Souls 1, I'd probably say it's a toss up between Solaire and Sigmire, but if I had to pick between the two, I think Sigmire edges it. Oh. Dark Souls 2, I mean, Sweet Shao Quar is, there's just no other option. Like, that's that's the only option. Dark Souls 3, I mean, is Sigurd a cop-out answer because I've already picked Siegmeier? Yeah, if not him, I'll, 
I'll give it a patches. He's got to be in there somewhere. Bloodborne, I think it's probably my man Alfred. Sekiro, Pot Noble Harunaga, just because he turns into a fish and it's just a bash crazy quest. Um, Elden Ring, I mean, it's obviously Alexander Iron Fist, you know, repping the pot boy. But then again, my girl Rani, uh, I think I'm siding Team Alexander though. Number eight, what's your preferred paint brand? Um, I buy all my paints from Games Workshop and they sell Citadel paints. I haven't yet ventured into the Vallejo sets, um, so I can only say that I only use Citadel. Number nine, do you have any pets? Oh, yes I do. Let me introduce you to my little Irish friend, Nula. She came over here from Ireland when my girlfriend was working over there. She saw her as a tiny little couple week old puppy and just decided, I've got to bring her home. Nine years on, here she is. Isn't she beautiful? I love her so much. Now for the hooves, I'm using a darker metallic in Iron Warriors and just coating them. And to jazz up the tusks, I want to colour them a bit more copper and gold. So first off, I'm just dry brushing on some fulgurite copper. And then lightly going over parts of the tusk with some Retributor armour for the goldy tinge. Then next, I'm using some white scar to edge highlight some of the armour edges for some added brightness. More questions! Number 10. What's your favourite Souls game? Oh god. Um, it, it is, it's Dark Souls 1, but you know, there are close contenders with Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3. Elden Ring, I only completed it last week. I, it took me... I mean, I'm recording this voiceover now in July, mid-July, and I played it on the day of release, and I only finished it like a week ago. It took so long, so I don't think I can put that up there. I think I need some more time on that. So, Dark Souls 1, favourite Souls game. Number 11, can you do some Sekiro models? I can, but my list of models is very long at the moment. I'm working through Dark Souls stuff, then Elden Ring stuff, and I've got some Bloodborne stuff. Sekiro will come, it's just gonna take a while. Question 12, despite hundreds of other franchises, why did you pick Souls? Ooh, hmm, well, my first introduction into Souls World was not great. I had a friend buy me Dark Souls 2 when it came out for my birthday because he thought this will be funny. Um, and I was like, well, surely I need to play Dark Souls 1 before playing this. And he was like, nah, 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 you'll be all right. Just, just jump in. You don't need to know the backstories or anything. You'll be fine. So I was like, all right, cool. And then as I started playing it, I was like, what the hell is this game? I was like, I can't. What do you do? Where do you go? Like. How do you play it? This is impossible. And I didn't get very far. I think I got, oh God. Um, I think I got past the Dragon Rider. And then I was just like, this is, this is pointless. I'm giving up. And I gave up there. And then another one of my friends was playing Bloodborne when it came out and that piqued my interest. And I started playing that and I didn't get too far. And I just thought, this is just, this is just upsettingly hard. And I just gave up again. And then the Dark Souls 1 remaster came out and I gave that a go. Never completed it and I again gave up. Then Sekiro dropped and I completed that instantly and I was like right I get it. I, I get Souls games now. I understand it. And then I just went back and just completed all of the From Software games and Dark Souls 1 changed my outlook on games. I came away from completing that game with a feeling I've never felt from completing any other game. It stuck in my mind for months after completing it. And I went through and I watched all the lore videos and all the breakdowns and everything and I realized that this game is an actual masterpiece. And from there, I bought the board game and the sort of obsession really took hold from there. Now I'm painting the tail with some Abaddon Black to finish the body off. For the eyes, I'm going to airbrush on some Corex White as the white halo, to which I'll be spraying on a layer of Flesh Terror Red, because these guys have some red ass eyes. Once they're all nicely sprayed up, I'm just going to add some extra red and black to the eyes with some Mephiston Red and Abaddon Black. More questions, more questions, more questions. Number 13. 
Who's the hardest boss I've had trouble dealing with, not just souls? Oh, that's a great question. Well, what sticks in my mind first is, <laughs> is Lu Bu from Dynasty Warriors 1. I can't, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna look up when that game came out. That game came out in 1997 and I used to go to my auntie's house in Liverpool and she had a PlayStation 1 and I only had a Sega at the time and she had Dynasty Warriors 1 on it and I used to play that game religiously like it was my Tekken and I just remember Lu Bu being this unbeatable boss that was just so buffed. I could just, I, I remember he had this like spear impaling attack where he lifts you up and he took me probably until my like mid-teens to go back and beat him. So I remember he, he sticks in my mind as an awful boss to fight. Another one would be uh, the Valkyrie Queen Sigrun from God of War 4. I remember just raging and raging and raging, going again and again and again, just trying to beat her. So yeah, that, 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 that sticks in my mind as a top contender. If I was going to do a Souls boss, I'd probably say Ornstein and Smell. The first time I finally completed um, Dark Souls 1, the, the sheer relief I felt after beating them the first time was just nice. It's been unmatched so far, so yeah. Top three, Lubu, Sigrun, and Ornstein and Smell. If I had to give it to one of them, I'm gonna cop out and give it to Ornstein and Smell, sorry. Uh, special mentions, however, would go to uh, Nightmare Grim from Hollow Knight, uh, Lawrence the First Vicar, Bloodborne, and these fucking trees in the Lion King on Sega. They are the hardest things to get past in any game, and I will stand by that. 14, where do you live? I live in the south of England. That's that. Simple as that. Number 15. Do you have any Elden Ring models? Um, I currently just have Renala and the Walking Mausoleum, but I do have a Rani, a Muriel Pastor of Vows, and the Tree Sentinel. I have them printed, they just need painting, but holy sh I have loads lined up, like so many to go through. Now I'm just slapping on some Bugman's Glow to his little snout and the paint job is finito. Now the fun bit. We're gonna create some blood. So to do this, we're gonna create blood strands and for this, we're going to use some fish wire and we're gonna glue them between the tusks. We're gonna drop in some UV resin onto the wire and dry it with a UV torch and color it with some coagulated blood. For a more detailed explanation on this technique, go check out the drill technique I did on a previous video for Quelag. Now back to the cues. 16, who's your favorite souls boss? Oh God, that is such a hard question. I mean, Slave Nightgale is the best. That's just fact. That's just undeniable fact. Um, but special mentions will have to go to Ornstein and Smell, um, Lady Maria, and probably the Owl Father. Number 17, <laughs> what, what's your email and password? Hmm, what's a witty answer? Man, I've just recovered from being hacked and had having countless accounts stolen off of me, so nope. Number 18, can you make a video about your entire collection? Yes, I can, and yes, I will. That's a great one. The collection is pretty big, so I'm gonna need some time to prepare for that, but that will be a future video, so look out for that one. Now we have the blood all stringed up between these tusks, we're gonna finish this model off and finish the questions off with doing the base. For the base, we're just going to be covering it with some PVA glue, sprinkling on some gray coarse ballast, and dotting around some foliage and skulls for decoration. Now time for three more questions before I finish this off. Number 19, what do you listen to whilst modeling? Hmm. Um, I'm either playing Netflix in the background on my computer, usually like Always Sunny in Philadelphia or something, but when I have music on, it's usually something quite relaxing. Um, something from like the soundtracks of like Zelda or Stardew Valley or Minecraft. Uh, number 20, what do you use to make your models? So I have two SLA resin 3D printers. I started off with an Elegoo Mars Probe, which was a nice little one, which helped me print off tiny miniatures and small scenery. 
and then as I started to look into doing bigger models I needed a printer to support that so I purchased an Anycubic Mono X and one thing I would say because I've had a lot of people telling me they wanted to get into 3D printing and can I offer any advice and the the biggest advice I could give to anyone wanting to get into 3D printing is do some research into it beforehand there are so many factors you need to think about before getting one for instance do you have a room which you don't spend time in that you could have a printer in like a conservatory or a garage or a shed or a workshop or something like that because resin fumes are incredibly toxic and the fumes smell very strongly and if you're adverse to skin irritations or things like that you really need to be taking health and safety very carefully with this um, you also need to have it well ventilated so you need to see if you have a room that can have a ventilation system taking the fumes out of the house um, you also need to research health and safety precautions like gloves, masks, um, cleaning apparatus. Um, that's, that's the biggest advice I could give to anyone doing that. Um, I will do a video on my setup to sort of show you how I go about doing things. Um, but I learned the hard way on doing these things is that when I had my Mono X delivered to me, I just jumped straight in. I didn't realize there was a massive learning curve. With the Elegoo Mars Pro, it's a really nice basic consumer starter. But when you start upgrading to bigger models, you really need to know what you're doing. So I just started print, trying to print anything and it was failing all the time. And there's like a vat that the resin sits in. And as I was printing that tour and all the resin spilled out and it went all over the very expensive LCD screen that the printer reads through, which meant I had to get a replacement part and it had to be shipped from China and it took months, which meant that I had months off of printing where I just thought, well, this is over, like I can't do this anymore. So buy a screen protector for your LCD screen if you get a printer. Look into the health and safety precautions and take them seriously. It's, it's really toxic stuff. And also make sure you have a place where you can store it that's, that's safely stored away from pets, children, anything like that, where you can ventilate. That was a bit of a long answer, apologies. Final question, number 21. If you could chill with any Souls NPC, who would it be? Hmm. He pops up a lot of my answers, but I think it's gotta be Sigurd. We could just chill by the fire, drink his booze, and have a great time together, so I can't think of anyone else I'd rather spend my time with than a fictional character. Hmm. Well guys, that'll about do it from me. Thanks to everyone who sent in the questions. It's actually been pretty fun making this video and talking about stuff other than what I'm doing. I might do another one later down the line. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to drop a like, slap that subscribe button. If you have any other questions, drop them in the comment section below and I'll try my best to get back to them. That's it for now. I'll see you in the next one.